pretty, pretty little flowers, huh? How you doing, folks? Orlando Backyard Gardening. It's been a while since I've been on here. Just thought I'll give you a little update of how things are going here. This is my grapevine. Give you a little tour. Got a papaya going here. And uh, this is my honey kiss mango. Just going crazy over here. I have a Rolinia, which is also growing very quick. And I'm gonna have to move something eventually because it's a little close. We got my bananas here. I used to have this all full of bananas. I have cleared it since. I have sugar apple, which I just moved to the spot. I have another little mango here, which is a sugar loaf, which I just moved to the spot as well. This has to get cleared out. I have to go in there and just cut stuff back. There's another little Rolinia in there, which I want to clear out. More vines, grape vines. Now this is actually two grape vines. And this one here has actually fruited this year. So it has some grapes, but it looks like these grapes are a little small compared to my other ones they look a little small and that could be because i have it in a container and that's just uh, prohibiting the growth so everything's a little messy here you, i do apologize that's some kind of compost thing going there this is also compost i use a tub put all my scraps in there and that's going to get cut down and I'm probably going to put it in that spot. I'm going to cut it shorter. And it's going to go right in that spot. This is my abu. Over here, which I just moved actually over here. Pineapples. That's a fig. Now, this is all messy because I have a watermelon growing in there. And I can't really cut the grass back. Here's a watermelon right there. Now, that's a small yellow watermelon. I have another, I have a couple more over there. And that one is a yellow watermelon, yellow fl flesh. This here is my Satsuma plum. Uh, I actually forgot I got the sprinklers on. This is my potted mango area over here. So I have a few different potted mango trees. This is a uh, a lime tree this is actually a cutting from a tree that i had over on the other side which was an older tree and it was kind of dying back so i said let me take a cutting before it dies back and i was lucky to get that one to take right over here that's my fair child mango which is um flushing move over here there's my pickering I did tell you I got the sprinklers on right let's move over to the other side okay so on this side I am now on the other side of the house I have some bananas here moringa over here uh, ornamental plant. I got another moringa up here. Some cranberry hibiscus in there. And these are some dwarf bananas. And this here, Bohemoth, this giant, is my peach tree. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the peach tree because the fruit flies keep getting most of the fruit every year so I'm really thinking about chopping it down and as you can see she is a beast she loves it here so not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet uh, this here is a pomelo 
no fruit because I gave it a good trimming last year and so this year she did not flower for me I'm sure she'll flower next season next spring but that is a pomelo uh, sprinklers are on so we're gonna hold off and wait for these uh, sprinklers to stop and then we'll continue the tour after they top they stop in the meantime let me take you here to the recreational area so you a little bit of what we got going on over here so we got some different plants going on here brown orchids desert rose that's blooming jasmine orange papaya there it's a papaya which I chopped back it's going back my ringer that I keep chopping back here that's tangerine over here if you look carefully you can see all the tangerines the tangerines are very heavy producer but I believe it's a rootstock tangerine because the tangerines are not the sweetest they have a little tartness to them but they are good for juicing okay we got some bananas here's a nice rack coming along this is my tamarind right here Timer run in the container. That is my red hybrid Jaboti Kaba right there. Some cranberry hibiscus. I got another banana here, and that one has another rack as well. If you look, that's the dwarf right there. Dwarf Namwa. Got some orchids up in the tree here. And this one here is a pomelo. Good amount of pomelo. This is a good producer, this pomelo tree. It's pretty old too. So, you know, all that hype about citrus greening, plants are gonna last more than 10 years old. This tree is probably maybe 20 years old, maybe more than that. And it's still here. Foliage is nice green, healthy looking. No uh, citrus greening there. We have my little friend hiding out in there in his little hotel. And just some hanging plants underneath here. That one there, right there, is a flower. And that's the uh, queen of the night queen, something like that. It uh, produces a nice flower, which, which is looks very similar to the dragon fruit flower. It's a pretty flower, and it only opens up at night. All right, y'all, so. This is a money tree. And this here is a herb, it's called animu. Some say it's good for cancer, but it's it's good for other stuff. So that's uh, also known as guinea weed. And here's another money tree. All right, so that's it for this side. Let's go check out the rest of the yard. All right, so the sprinklers have stopped. And we can continue the tour. We got a Roselle hibiscus right here. And these are the two nectarines. Um, they were planted bare root in the ground uh, last year, I believe. So they've only been in the ground maybe a year. No fruits, didn't produce fruit this year. They were, uh, they, were they did have some flowers, but I don't expect them to fruit so maybe next year they should hopefully start producing well so 
nectarines. Another roll cell viscous. And then I got some mango trees here. This is a sugarloaf mango that I have in a container. I'm thinking about putting it in that spot, but probably not this year. I'm gonna hold off keeping the container for a while. This is, uh, let's see what else we got here. No, nope, let's do this side first and then we'll go over there. Pineapple pleasure mango. This was one of the ones that they get hit by the cold and I had to tip it. So she's come back very nicely. Barbados cherry fruit punch mango. This is a seedling mango actually. Seedling mango that I have growing there. My hog plum, which actually I moved from a different location. So I had to tip it back. There's a little avocado here. It doesn't grow. It's a dwarf avocado. And it just doesn't grow. So there she is. And then I do have this avocado tree here. Which I'm waiting for it to uh, flower. Maybe fruit for me. I have a graph here which is sending out some flush. And that's a Brogdon graph. So hopefully that will take. And maybe I'll get some Brogdon fruit, if anything. Some of my avocado down here, a little seedling avocado, which I have growing there for now. And that's a fig. It's one of those uh Stranger fig family. I don't know. It looks good. So it's pretty much ornamental. That's the groomy chama right there. In the shade. And there's a longin right up in the front there. Longin. Right there. Okay, to swing around. Check out my anonas. And this is my red moth sugar apple. I got one of them bagged up and I have to bag up the rest. I think there's four on here right now. There's another fruit right there. Another one right there. And another one hanging on the bottom here. So there's four. Last year I had two, so I got two more this year. Can't complain. At Amoya, I got one there and I have a couple small ones somewhere in the back. There's a one over here and then there's another one somewhere and I had actually two over here one of them dropped so and that didn't give me any fruit last year it did gave me it gave me one the year before and some critter took it so I didn't get a chance to eat that one okay and up against the fence line that's my grapes let me show you some of the grapes that's a that's a katuk and another little sugar apple here. So we have grapes, and the grapes are pretty coming pretty regularly. There, some are ready to eat. Now these are the muscadine. And the muscadine are a little bit thick skins so for those that aren't familiar with muscadine they do have a thick skin kind of like a jaboti a jaboti kaba all right this one is the um well i kind of forgot Suriname cherry Suriname cherry got a few bananas back here Moving right along in the canopy, that is a uh, flamboyant tree, Royal Ponciana, and then I got the big giant cactus up here. I got a Brogdon avocado. And that up there is a sun racer nectarine. Turkish cap hibiscus. 
another rosel hibiscus right there this is a tangerine which was in a container and i just planted it in the ground so swinging around here in the container i have a june plum right there this is a pomegranate in the container as well a couple of bananas another hibiscus that's probably the biggest one that i have right now some bananas that's another hibiscus that's the rosel hibiscus that's the one that produces the calyxes and you can make the tea or the drink out of that okay this here is a cotton candy mango Got a sugar loaf graft here. This one here is the sapodilla, the hasa sapodilla. This is some of that uh, Mexican sunflower, which I use as a chop and drop. And this once again is my Fairchild mango, which is in flush mode. This there is a sugar loaf graph right there. Some more of that uh, sunflower. This here is a uh, metley plum. And there's another one of the Roselle hibiscus. A little moringa. Here's my pickering again. This here is the Scarlet Beauty Plum. It's starting to grow some new flush. It was getting a little ugly looking and I had to hit it with some vitamins and it started pushing out some new growth. This here is a peach. This is a tropic snow peach. It's not as healthy as the other one on the other side, but it's, it's getting there. It's getting there. Mm, it's a ornamental plant. This is another tangerine that I have here. All right, y'all. Let's go down to the other side. All right. So here's my Namwa rack that I showed you before. Some uh, the hibiscus, cranberry hibiscus. These leaves are edible. You can eat that. And that's the red Jaboti Kaba. And I got some different stuff here in containers. This here is a, a I'm trying to remember the name of this mango. Phoenix. This is a Phoenix mango. Here's a uh, jackfruit in a container. This is my variegated lemon. And that's my sapadilla again. Okay, there's the rack that I showed you before. Ice cream, well, oh, that's a regular, regular namwa. That's the tall namwa. Some people refer to it as the ice cream banana. Some peppers, some zinnias. This one is an Edward mango. And then I have a star fruit, which I just up potted yesterday. And that is the Shruk Kabangan. Star fruit is just actually flowering right there. This is my uh, blood orange, which I tipped after I got it, because I'm trying to get a little canopy going. So it's actually flushing out, which is good. Uh, some more peppers, some seedling mangoes, which I used to grow. This is another pickering, which was cut back. Uh, was pugged because of the cold, so she's growing back. Okay, more peppers. Some uh, grass, unfortunately, they didn't take. 
it's just a little too hot right now for grafts so and i have a few mango trees that i pull out of the ground they weren't doing too well so i put them in pots to see how they do some more of those zinnia flowers and there's a few different varieties of bananas here i have a lacata no sorry lacatan i got a this is a seal uh pup of the namwa ice cream that's a dwarf plantain hoamoa so once these get big should be getting some different bananas all right and that's it that is it y'all i showed you everything this is the other side my groomy chama the longin all right y'all so that was a little tour for you guys just updating i just thought i would show you my royal ponciana i always forget to include this in my tours but i have a gorgeous royal ponciana also known as flamboyang to all my hispanic people from puerto rico but yeah she's beautiful and this is, of course, in Orlando, Zone 9B, where it's not really supposed to be growing. This is one of the very few uh, Royal Poncianas that I have seen, as beautiful as this one. These are my guava, my guayavas, which are growing, starting to get a little yellow, so yes, they'll be dropping soon. And it's underneath the Frambayang in the shade, so. That's why my guayavas are not as big as they should be. All right, y'all. So I just wanted to show that to you guys. Look how beautiful those blooms are. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the tour, the update of the food forest. If you did, please like and subscribe. I do appreciate all my followers. You guys take it easy. Enjoy, have a good one. This is Orlando Backyard Gardener, signing off. Bye-bye.